Hello! Hi! Can you actually see me? I can't really see myself. Oh my god, that is so weird. Let me just snap my fingers. I'm here! Yay! I can see myself. Uh, so right now I'm going to do some book reviews and some magazine reviews. And you guys are going to be sitting down in your chair, perhaps drinking some tea, eating some yogurt, and just enjoying this video. So, happy ever after. Bye. But you're just gonna happy ever after. Obviously, it's about it's about this woman. It's about these these family, obviously, and they're trying to deal with relationships and they make mistakes and they fall in love again and again and again and again. And some remain single. Some just give up. Totally give up. But some, they just they want commitment. And some, they don't want commitment. And some. They started with commitment and then eventually fade away. Sort of like Debbie's mom, who, you know, obviously she got divorced by her dad. And obviously her dad, you know, run run off to another woman. And sometimes this is this is a typical thing, you know. You know I mean, sometimes you get bored of your spouse and you want another one. And as for her, she wasn't the one that divorced him and then she ends up being single and so eventually she uh, she kept calm she was patient and all that sort of thing until she fell in love with this guy but obviously her ex wanted her back sort of because he was beginning to get irritated by his uh, his present wife and his present wife obviously was this really noisy lady and was always saying I want this I want that sort of thing and I don't know why I'm speaking in an American accent, but anyways, that's the book for you. If you want to read it and find out more for yourself, I don't want to spoil it for you, but yeah. I didn't steal a look, but I always forget their um, the author's name. No, I don't always. It's just only sometimes. It's only rarely, and it's sometimes when I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Anyways, so this book is based upon this lady who obviously she believes in angels and she has believe that miracles that happens in our life and blessings that happens in our life obviously there are interference of an angel sometimes you know for example someone is being rescued by you know a building that is obviously um, you know you know there's so many smokes it's obviously on fire and everything and a miracle happened and then no firefighters went in there and then the lady is obviously outside for some reason but yeah miracles do happen like that and obviously um, this book is about people who are um, telling their experiences and that sort of thing if you don't believe it's fine you don't have to it's just people's um, experiences. Next one will be The Accidental Husband by Jane Green and obviously it's about this woman named Maggie she has a child and she she met this guy no basically her husband died and she was really sad but then she fell in love with this guy and you know he was just amazing he loved her because he said he never could meet a woman like her she's an artist you know she was calm and always makes him feel at home always makes him feel like a man basically and she he made her did wild things that she could never imagine to be doing not, not even her um her husband at first would you know who obviously passed would make her come out that way and obviously she was deeply in love with this guy but this man has more secret to reveal and this that this man had another wife another family and obviously that's his wife his first wife so she was like his second wife sort of so yeah it's a really interesting story let's see how the guy ends up and you know obviously he always is going back and forth with his wife so, oh it's accept me accept me and that sort of thing so he doesn't know who to choose and yes he's like can I talk about PS I love you PS I love you by Salcia Hearn it is about a woman who, you know, named Holly, and obviously she's she's in love with this guy whose name is Jerry, and they're such a beautiful couple, and they're gonna they were they're engaged, and they're gonna get married. But obviously, he um, got cancer, and obviously passed away, and that was the end of it. 
joking that's not the end of it basically he left her a, um, a bunch of letters for her to read each month you know until um, the end of the year I think I don't remember but yeah it was basically a letter um, detailing what she should do you know to enjoy herself and that sort of thing and he, all, he has it all planned out so it was quite interesting to read on and um, yeah it was a lot of characters in there a lot of characters definitely a lot of characters and um, you know with family members she's very family orientated it took her a while to, to, to get over him but obviously she didn't because she really liked him she really loved him and you know he was her soulmate like no other guy really matched her was ideal for her other than Jerry she tried to move on but obviously didn't end up moving on at all so yeah I, I find that very interesting but I did watch the movie before I think so this is the book that I'm currently reading and obviously it's called The Search by Nora Roberts and um, it's about this woman named Fiona she's a uh, sort of like a detective and um, she trained dogs and puppies and you know, not not puppies obviously she trained dogs to um, look for, for to search for you know missing people because she once herself was a victim so she she has a lot of secrets to hide and um, you know she she she's a very close person but at the same time she you know she's very outgoing and um, she, obviously she couldn't move on from her fiance who had passed because of that tragic incident and um, but anyway she did end up meeting this guy and um, he was quite wild with her and obviously she did not like him sort of thing but um yeah so that's a, that's about it really and, uh, and what's most important about this book is how people move on and how people struggle you know in their life and what I find interesting about this story is that um, not only it involves romance it also involves how a woman you know deals deals with her tragic moments here so yeah pretty much that and um, how she you know learn from that and how she is she herself is helping others with that same situation so obviously this guy was trying to attack her and obviously she escaped you know um, but the serial killer he's out there still he's not in prison so she's trying to get that guy who obviously killed her fiance summer daydreams by obviously Carol Matthews um, this what attracted me to this book is obviously the sparkly um, designs. You know, you can see right here it has that sparkliness to it. It's really nice. It was really pretty, and I thought that yes, this story will be as as glitter and glam as it is on the outside. But was it? Well, I mean, I haven't finished reading it yet. But I mean, it's about this woman. You know. Um, her name is Nell and obviously she has a four-year-old daughter and she has a husband and she's she, she quits her job trying to pursue a new uh, you know a different life obviously something in the creative field um, for her it would be fashion or art and um, yeah I haven't been doing that yet either but yeah those are my reviews for today